Hello, East Parkers. Today, we are going to use a table to record measurement equivalents in the customary system. We're going to start by looking at feet and inches. We use feet and inches to measure how long or tall something is. The crayon is just over three and a half inches and the pool is six feet deep. Do you know how many inches are in a foot? There are 12 inches in one foot. And as long as I know this, I can use simple multiplication and figure out the rest of the values. I set up a two column table with inches in one column and feet in the other. Since I know that there are 12 inches in one foot, I know that there are 24 inches in two feet because 12 times two is 24. If I have three feet, then I have 36 inches because 12 times three is 36. And four feet is the same as 48 inches because 12 times four equals 48. And finally, five feet equals 60 inches. Take a look at the inches column. Do you remember your old friend multiples? Notice how the number increases by multiples of 12. Pay attention to this as we work on the other measurements. Now we are going to look at pounds and ounces. We use pounds and ounces to measure how much something weighs. A key weighs about one ounce. A kitten weighs about one pound. Do you know how much you weigh? There are 16 ounces in one pound. And now here's my table and we've got the first row complete. I know that if I have two pounds, that is the same as 32 ounces, because 16 times two equals 32. 16 times three is 48, so three pounds is equal to 48 ounces. 16 times four is 64, so four pounds equals 64 ounces. And finally, 16 times five equals 80. How many ounces are in five pounds? Right. 5 pounds is equal to 80 ounces. Let's see if we can figure out time equivalents. How many seconds are in one minute? Right, there are 60 seconds in one minute. So here's our table and our first equivalent. Now multiplying by 60 can seem a bit scary, but remember what we know about multiplying by a factor of 10? You can just multiply the number in the tens place and add a zero at the end of the number. 6 times 2 is 12, and then I add a 0 at the end and get 120. Let's do the next one. I am not going to show the multiplication equations on this one, but you can write them in your math journal if you want to. 3 minutes is the same as 180 seconds. Remember, 6 times 3 is 18, and when I add a 0 on the end, it's 180. Are you ready for the next one? 4 minutes is the same as 240 seconds. How did I know it was 240? Right! 6 times 4 equals 24, and adding a 0 makes our answer 240. One last equivalent for this table. You think through this one on your own. Did you say that 6 times 5 is 30, and by adding a 0 you get 300? And that 300 seconds is the same as 5 minutes? Good job! Now let's work on one more table. This one you are going to work through on your own. We talked about feet and inches. Now we are going to talk about feet and yards. An average doorway is just a little bit taller than 2 yards, and there are 55 yards of tape on this roll. Have you ever run the 100 yard dash? How many yards would you guess are in that race? This teacher is holding a yardstick. Do you know how many feet are in one yard? Right, there are three feet in one yard. See if you can do this one by yourself. I'll give you some time to make your table and do the multiplication. You can write the equations if you need to and remember that your answer should be multiples of three. I bet your table looks just like mine. Great job! Did you notice that the numbers in the feet column increase by multiples of three? We have worked on a few examples of finding equivalent measurements. Here are the four main things you need to remember. Know what measurement you are finding the equivalent of, find out the equivalent, make your table, 
and multiply. Now you have some practice finding equivalent measurements. As long as you know or can find the equivalent and can multiply, you can find the equivalent of any measurement.